Hello P3. In unit 16, we have been learning all about recounts. Remembering how to do or make something, the materials we need and the steps we need to follow. Now today, we are going to write our own recount. Can you remember last lesson when we read the recount of how to make a rubber band powered boat? Let's take a look at it again and remind ourselves what we need to include to make a really good recount. Here's the recount of the rubber band powered boat. To make the recount flow nicely, we need to use orientation at the start, events, and a personal comment at the end of the recount. We also need to use sequencing words like first, next, after that, then, finally. We need to use past tense action verbs like worked, showed, watched, got. And we need to use pronouns like we, he, she, it. Wow. That's a lot of things we need to use. Don't worry, we'll use our checklist later to make sure we can tick everything off. Today, we are going to write a recount about a rubber band powered car. For your recount, I'm going to show you the materials you need and the steps to follow, and then you're going to write a recount about how to make it. Now, What's the first thing we should do before our draft writing? That's right. Think and plan. Let's start by looking at the list of materials we need. Cardboard. One cup. Two sticks. Rubber bands. Paper clips. Straws. Glue tack. Scissors, glue. OK, now we know what materials we need to make the rubber band powered car. We need to know the steps to follow to make it. Let's take a look. 1. Watch the video about making the car. 2. Get the things we need. 3. Draw six big circles and six small circles on the cardboard. Four, cut out the circles. Five, glue the circles together. Six, push the sticks through the cup and push on the straws. Seven, put on the wheels, blue tack and paper clips. Eight, Tie the rubber bands to the stick. Nine, test the car. OK, it's time to get started. Let's open our Unit 16 SBs to page 17. The title of this recount is going to be Our Rubber Band Powered Car. You can use this title too. Now, the first thing we need to write is, of course, the orientation, which should include when, who, what, and where. I'm going to write my orientation now. Last week, we made a rubber band powered car in the classroom. Next, I need to start writing the events of my recount. In the events of a recount, we're going to talk about all of the steps we took using the materials to make our rubber band powered car. Let's remind ourselves of the steps to help us. The first step, watch the video about making the car. OK, I'm going to write this into my events. Of course, we need to start with a sequencing word. First, we watched a video about making the car. 
OK, P3. Now we use the first step. You can use all of the other steps to finish writing the events in your account. Don't forget to use the sequencing words to help order them. Once you've finished writing the events, you need to add a personal comment. I'm going to write, My car went far. It was fun. You can choose your own personal comment about how you feel. All right, P3. Now you've finished your draft, it's time to check your writing. Use the recount writing checklist on page 19 to help you. And remember, only tick the box if you have used it in your draft. If you haven't, then you need to write it in before you can tick the box on the checklist. Good luck, P3. I'm excited to read your recounts when you hand them in. See you later.